Behance portfolio tutorial how to make portfolio on Behance. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am giving you a tutorial on how you can create your own portfolio on Behance to showcase your skills and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Behance.net and you will land on this platform right here. Behance is a creative platform that allows you to showcase your skills and your work to the world. It is a huge platform with a huge audience and you'll be able to create your portfolio and sell your skills. Uh, you can see we have different creative fields so you can create portfolio in any of these fields such as architecture, art direction, branding, fashion, graphic design, illustration, um, industrial design, motion graphics, photography, web designs and much much more. So how to actually create a portfolio like this on Behance? for that you will need to sign up in order to get started all you have to do is just create an account on behance and you can create an account uh, with a free trial with your google account facebook or even your apple id after the initial sign up or sign in to your behance this is where you will land now you can see we have our own feed on behance this is where i can see my followings at the top here we have for you discover live hire and jobs so it also works as this, you know, amazing platform to check out different skilled people and skilled artists here. We can actually discover a lot of, uh, you know, different and new artists from here. It also works as a freelancing platform where we can hire uh, people and we can also find jobs uh, as a freelancer. So to share your work and to get started with your portfolio like this, what you need to do is at the top here, we have share your work. And within share your work we have four options we have built a complete case study then we have service showcase your freelance offerings work in progress and a live stream as well so what we need to do is we need to create a complete portfolio so we'll go with the project where we will build a complete case study of our skills and this is where we will start our project this is where we actually add all of different uh, options to create our portfolio on Behance. So we can actually do a lot. We can add an image, text, photo grid, video and audio, embed, Lightroom, NFT, prototype, 3D. And here we have add content where we have image, again, all of these options and styles and settings. So let's actually get uh, started with it. And the first thing that I will be adding is going to be the text. So click on text here and it will allow you to embed any kind of text to your portfolio. Now, this is where we add descriptions. This is where we will be adding details. Now, what I will do is let's actually go to our Behance here and let's take something as an example, any of the portfolio that we have. Okay, so we have this one here and let's open it up. This is actually a portfolio design created for Behance. So we can actually check from here that what are the different ways we can create one. And from here, we'll get our inspiration. Okay, so you can see this is a pretty good portfolio that we can create. Now here is going to be the text and we'll just take a second to load. So for that, let's go with the text and give our portfolio a name. Let's call it photography. Now I will add an image. Click on image and it will allow you to select image from your computer. Once you select the image, it will be added right here. Now, if I want to attach the assets, I can click here and I'll be able to attach any assets to this image. If you want to edit it, you can see we have insert media option and then we have the edit option available as well. This is the text that I added at the top and we actually can edit the text now. So I'm going to click on the edit option and we will click on edit text. So that will allow me to change the alignment of the text. We can change the font of the text, the color, everything we want to. So this way you'll be able to, you know, customize the text completely. Once you have added the image, let's add something else. For instance, you're creating a portfolio for your uh, video editing. You are a graphic designer or any other. A lot of skills actually require to add videos. So you can select the video and audio option as well. Now, audio is something new that we don't find on and on other portfolios, such as if you're creating it on Squarespace, Wix or Canva. So you can click on the audio and it will allow you to select a video or an audio from your computer and you can upload very easily. 
Then we also have our photo grid. Now, photo grid comes in very handy for the people creating a you know, portfolio for photography and related niches. So what you can do is you can just go to the photo grid here and it will allow you to even get the photos from Lightroom because we know that Behance is actually provided by Adobe and you require an Adobe account or you can create a separate account on Behance too. So this is where you can add your grid and you can even get the photos from a light room. Then we have embed. Now embed is an important option. This is where you can share from Adobe XD, Vimeo, YouTube, Giphy and more. So this is where you'll just paste your code and it will be added to your portfolio. Then we have NFTs. So this is actually pretty good that we can create a portfolio for NFT using Behance. This is one of the niches that is actually doing pretty good on Behance nowadays. So you can even get inspiration from the portfolios that are already created here in your niche. For instance, I'm working in photography right now. So what I'll do is I'll actually go to the photography. I'm going to search and it will show me all of the different portfolios that have been created uh, with Behance. And that will give me the inspiration to go for and I'll have some projects and examples to look at. So then again, we have prototype and 3D options as well. Click on the style option and it will allow you to select your background color. So let's actually change the background color to something relevant to our brand and that aligns with our brand. So we can change the color to maybe this. Then we have the content spacing. So if you want to increase or decrease the spacing, you can do that. So now it looks like this. And now I can customize the you know image, the text again. Here we have added a photo grid. Then I can maybe add the text again. So I'll be able to type in text. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Then we have attach assets. You can add files like fonts, illustration, photos, zips, or templates as free or paid downloads. Now, this is an important part of creating a portfolio on Behance because we are actually creating a portfolio to sell our skills. To sell something, we can also embed assets that can be downloaded. And here we can actually add paid assets so that we can make money with Behance. This is one of the ways to make money with Behance very easily. You can work as a freelancer, but if you create this portfolio from here, very easily you can see add the contents, add the project, the style, according to your needs, whatever you're looking for, you create the portfolio and you can also add and insert the assets that are paid. So people pay to download those assets, different templates. If you create phones, you can add the phones. If you create illustrations, photos, zips, anything, and you can make money with that. So uh, now we will again, you know, add more of the things here. We can even insert things from Lightroom, prototype, click on prototype here and share from XD, Figma, Marvel and others. And you'll be able to just embed the code. So once you're done with the editing inside your editor, we need to upload an image, which is the thumbnail, you can say. Um, so uh, you will upload the image here and give your project a title. So let's just call it test for now. And then we have our project tags. This is where I can add up to 10 tags for my project. And then we have tools used. So what softwares, hardware or materials did you use? Now, this is important because this is where you need to add if you use After Effects here, a Lightroom, Adobe. So you need to mention that here too. How would you categorize this project? So here you need to select your category. Um, so for us, it was photography, but you can go with illustrations, fashions, products and more. Then you will have to select the visibility. You can go with everyone or private. And then we have our content. This project contains adult content. So you need to check this option. Too. Once you're done with all of the different options, you click on publish and your portfolio is published. You will get a Behance portfolio and you'll be able to sell your skills and make money with Behance. So this is the way you can just go to create project and follow all these steps. And I showed you how to, you know, use the editor as well. It's really easy and you'll be able to share your work in no time and sell your skills and make money. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. And now you know how to create a portfolio with Behance. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.